All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. And I'm down here Thursday evening, it's almost a quarter to seven. And I'm waiting on some paint to dry. So I thought I'd go ahead and shoot this little video. Uh, this is the instrument cluster. And I shot some video the other day of taking out this uh, battery gauge right here and testing it because it wasn't working. And All right, so how I'm going to test this is I'm going to hook positive up to the side that had the positive on it. What I'm going to I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to touch this to ground and this to positive. All right, let me move my hand where you can actually see it. It actually moves. So that's a good indication we don't need but one wire. Let me swap hands with it. Can you see it? And I found out that my circuit board is no good. Uh, it's burning to right here on this on this part right here. Let's get a close up view there, and that is on the oil pressure gauge. So I ordered a new circuit board from LMC Truck, and it came in today. So this circuit board is about seventy dollars. Right at seventy dollars, and uh, I also ordered some new keeper things. Get these out of the pack because these were so corroded. I was having problems with the corrosion on them. I just went ahead and ordered some new ones. So it's just a matter now. We're basically pulling all the light bulbs out, and I ain't really, really, really worried about the, uh, you know, damaging this circuit board because it's no good anyway. And we get all the lights out, and then we got to take all the gauges out. All right, so now we just turn it over, and very carefully, we're going to remove one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, uh, quarter inch screws and take the plastic off and the black the back plate the cover plate off all right so now with the covers off we can remove all these screws holding the gauges in place and we'll get all the gauges out be careful around these needles because they're very fragile uh, Especially as old as this one is, I could just bump that needle, that thing would probably just break. As a matter of fact, just vibrating it too hard to break them. So we'll get these off and set these in a safe place, and then we can pull out the keepers. All right, guys, got all the uh, gauges out and looked and seen what I had here. Four wheel drive light, it's showing to be right there which would be here, but this truck's got a separate light for a four-wheel drive, I think, that goes into the uh, into the top of the instrument diesel there. <clears throat> so now we need to take these uh, eight, eleven clips out, and it's real easy just push them kind of together. We'll take a screwdriver, push out, push in one end of it, and it'll come loose. All right, guys, this is what it looks like when you get all the clips out. You should be able to just take it off. You see how these are folded in. I'm sure the new ones are going to be a little difficult to get turned in like that. We want to set this over to the side where we can see it. I kind of want to clean this a little bit right up in here. I wish they had some uh, plastic cleaner or some contact cleaner. You can see where this thing this gets dirty. It's pretty dirty over time. Actually, it'd be a good time to wash this thing. 
All right, guys, so I got it cleaned up about the best I could. Clean the back and the inside. And uh, it looks a lot better, but it still ain't perfect. So now we need to get our, our other circuit board that we bought. And I'm hoping that this circuit board that was on here was just bad to start with and it burn up because of that, not because one of the wires is, is wrong. Be real careful getting this damn board of uh, circuit out of here. Of course, this being an aftermarket circuit, ain't no dang telling. to kind of push these around this thing right here. Now here's a peg right here and that is it. Well, no, that's the only, that's the, this peg right here. You zoom in. It's the only peg on here that's going to hold it in place until we get some of these holders in. So let me grab a few holders. I can find them. I see them over here. Dang it. My damn workbench is getting crowded again. Of course, we could stick some lights in here. That that would help hold it initially anyway. I'm going to figure out what I did with them. There they are. Stick a few of these light bulbs in, in the sockets, and that'll 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 hold it in. And it works pretty good. And we'll just go ahead and put them all in. One thing I did do was I went back and uh, and made sure I had good contacts on these sockets. These sockets are, I want to say, a couple three dollars a piece through LMC. So I didn't really want to have to buy none of those. About everything I got, is at least a dollar. things kind of will bite down and push in against this works around these lights it's non coated so you got good copper connection All right, so this one right here is a light that goes down to the uh, ashtray it's a fiber optic uh, light and I found one on my other one and here it is this is the end of the fiber optics and this is the socket that goes on here it needs bulbs, looks like. So I don't really have a bulb right handy, but we're going to leave it out anyway until we get ready to install it. these two down here at the bottom they've got a little end uh, marker little peg here that's going to hold that in place or try to this thing is going to be flat so it's a little difficult kind of have to hold it with one hand and do it with the other and of course it came out of a little peg Same thing, it's got a little, in, uh, little peg on it. Yeah. yeah. So now 
then we can go back and put our hickeys in place. Right, so with all the <clears throat> with the lights holding everything in place, it should be a pretty simple job to install these little hickeys. I went ahead and bought new ones just so I would know that they uh, would have good connection. I'm not sure about some of these old ones. They're pretty corroded. And the way they go on, look inside here. See these little indentions here sticks out. This one goes this way. These go this way. And the pegs are going to go. There ain't really but one way you can go with them. They're going to go with the little indention going into the split like that. I can't really do it holding it up like that. There's only, there's really ain't but one way they can go in there. If you try to do it the other way, the, the this part here is going to hit on that. So, and they just pop in. And that should pretty much do the circuit. Now it's just a matter of putting our gauges back in and figure out what it did. Here's my blinkers, green blinkers. And what I did here is I just put these up here as they came off. Like they came off so I wouldn't do them backwards. So on this one here, we've got a four-wheel drive and choke. So the four-wheel drive one is the one without the light. And I know the choke light works. And then the other one is uh, fasten seat belts and brake. And now we're ready to put our gauges back in. I don't want to wipe these gauges off because I'm afraid I'm going to hit the needle. Now I'll have to pick up to get this in here. Don't really plug in the, the circuit nowhere, so it just, just got to slide in place. It's got a little peg that locates it. Got two in the bottom and one there. And we'll have to go ahead and put a screw, a screw in this thing to keep it from coming out on me. Should prevent that from doing anything. All right, oil pressure. I believe this oil pressure is up here. Man, these little cheap ass clips. I'm gonna have to say I don't really recommend buying these aftermarket clips. They absolutely help it. Be better off finding a uh, a junk board than getting them, getting them off it. But I've got them. I just I just don't know about them. 
I'll try to hold it and do it. gauge in and there's no really no getting these mixed up because this temperature gauge will not fit it will fit here but it won't fit there so don't worry about that I'm gonna have to hold these prongs in let's see this thing's got four prongs so the bottom one don't go to nothing. Amazingly, I was able to get that in. And all these screws are the same. It's the same for the gauges and for the plastic cover, so don't worry about getting them mixed up. The last one is the voltage meter, the one I was knew wasn't working. Now this is the one that don't have one in it, but I don't think it needs but one because you can see it's got three prongs, but two of them are the same. So it just needs one on the side and one in the top. So now we've got all our gauges on and mostly clean. I'll go ahead and put these on. Now notice I didn't screw that one down right here or this one down right here or that one there because it gets screwed down with this. When you put the plastic cover on, it actually holds the, the uh, those gauges here, the big ones. watching if you're doing this job it's not a hard job just take your time be careful and see already I got these damn freaking prongs ain't all the way in I'm gonna have to tap that joker in I don't want to I don't want to do that but I ain't taking this thing back apart of course tap on it we knock the needle off See me do this. All good. Alright. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and